If you're into shooting sports, if you're into adventure and you're out and about, accidents occur, accidents happen. Uh, one of the things that I always do is carry a trauma kit with me no matter what. Uh, I was at the range by myself yesterday for a, a long time and I had three trauma kits. You know, just because uh, you never know, you want something close by. And so you guys know Skinny Medic and he and I are big buds. We've been shooting a lot. He's been in a lot of my videos and does a lot of different trauma kits and different first aid kits. Yeah, we've got everything from just boo-boo kits, something to go on like your bug out bag or, you know, throw in your truck, all the way up to these full trauma kits now. And Skinny Medic has been a full-time paramedic for a number of years and really has gone part-time because the company is doing so well because people see the need for these kind of kits. Yeah, we're truly blessed. I was a full-time paramedic for 13 years, and this past year we went full-time with the home business. I still work on the ambulance just to keep my skills up and to stay in the, into it because it's, it's, I love it. But now the business is taking off. We're truly blessed. So that just means that these are really high-quality kits. A lot of stuff you're finding with some kits are they're sourced out with maybe inferior products. Uh, and that's one of the things that Skinny Medic's doing that's really great and I can put a lot of confidence in and bring to you guys. So we have a couple of things here we want to look at. So what are we looking at? So these are two of my newest kits we've come out with now. This is my Skinny Medic Pocket Kit. This is just a control bleeding and this is my Skinny Medic Essentials Kit. This is a full-on trauma kit. It does everything you'd want to do for major trauma. And This isn't a band-aid kit but this is full-on major trauma. It'll do it. So kind of you know two different kits for one foot you just want to put in your pocket for your, like your BDU pocket or your backpack, uh, your man purse, things like that, or your full-on trauma kit that would need at the range, things like that. All right, we have both kits laid out here on the table, and we're going to go ahead and open them up. Uh, Skinny Medic's going to tell you what's going on in each one. All right, so we'll start out with a Skinny Medic pocket kit. This kit is just designed to stop the bleeding. I mean, that's the most important thing when it comes to trauma is stopping the bleeding because you can bleed out very, very quickly with these arterial bleeds, which is what this kit is designed to do. So it's important to have it on you close by and it's small package. So you can see that all the contents are listed out for you. You've got the Gen 7 cat tourniquet, got a four inch flat emergency pressure bandage, some compressed galls, one pack of that, and one pair of large nitrile gloves. All right, so it comes sealed airtight from North American Rescue, but we do have two tabs that we can open it up from. So we can pull and open up the package very quickly and get to the contents that we need. So the first thing we notice is the Gen 7 cat tourniquet. This is their brand new edition that came out. And one of the reasons why I wanted this kit secured by North American Rescue was the fact there's so many fakes out on the market right now that are coming from the Chinese and they're breaking as soon as you apply them. So you know you're getting good quality gear because it's from North American Rescue. So the cat tourniquet is used for major bleeding in your arms and the legs. This is going to be bright red blood squirting that you need to control immediately. So you put this on your arm, your leg, and spin the windlass here until the bleeding stops. I also included the compressed gauze and a four inch pressure bandage. Now the compressed gauze doesn't have any hemostatic agent, it's just wound packing gauze, but it expands out a lot. It's got it really sealed nice and tight, but when you start opening this up, it expands to a lot. We can open it up here. And the more you start pulling out, the more it is to get it to expose. This wound packing gauze works really good for like the armpits and the groin, somewhere where you can't get the cat tourniquet, get the bleeding stopped. We can use this and control bleeding. So you can see how much gauze you actually have compressed in that small package. So we included a four inch pressure bandage here for two reasons. One is when you put the wound packing gauze in there, you've got a whole pressure, lots of pressure on there to get the bleeding stop. So you can use this four inch pressure bandage to hold the pressure. Also, on someone who's not so skinny, a skinny medic, you may need two tourniquets on their legs. So you can put this cat tourniquet on there first. And if you can't get bleeding controlled, you can come back and do a four inch pressure bandage and that will act as your second tourniquet to stop the bleeding. We also did include a pair of gloves. That way it protects you, protects the patient. And this will even work for like a sucking chest wound. You can just put a gloved hand over the, the gunshot wound to the chest or the major trauma to the chest and that's going to help the patient. And we just kind of did a quick overview here but if you want to see demonstrations of all these products, the cat turning, I've done multiple videos on the cat, the pressure bandage, the galls, check out my channel on YouTube Skinny Medic and I've got multiple videos 
talking about each of these products. And I'll have links down below in the description and annotated for you to get right to them. So this is a Skinny Mac Essentials Kit here. This is a complete trauma kit that will be able to treat major trauma. There again, this isn't a boo-boo kit. This is all down and dirty trauma it's able to take care of. So like any other kit, this kit also has all the contents listed there for you to see what's in there. You get the Gen 7 cat tourniquet, the 6 inch pressure bandage. You get two compressed galls, one pair of hyphen chest seals, the compact version of them, an MPA, a Mylar blanket, a pair of gloves, and the Benchmade hook. So there again, this package comes sealed from North American Rescue. But this one's a little bit different because we can actually reseal this one back once you open it up. So you could take some contents out that you might need, you didn't want in there, things like that. Also, if you want to put this in your own pack, your own kit, then you, that you already have, you can open up the contents and put them in there. So what you're saying, we can take, if you have a standard pouch, you can take the contents out of this. You can leave it like it is, or you can take it out and put it in the, the kit to suit your needs. Right, because gives everybody options. So this one is resealable, but we have the pull tab here to open up from the top. Maybe, there we go. So then we reseal it and we can pull out all the items that we need. All right, so in this essentials kit, we get the Gen 7 cat tourniquet again. And we move up to a six inch pressure bandage. Instead of one compressed gauze, now you get two compressed gauze. You get a twin pack hyphen chest seals. It's important to have two chest seals that way with high energy you may have an entry and an exit wound so they give you two there again i've done a video on the compact hyphen chest seal to compare it to the other sizes but i did want to go and open this one up on video to show you the size of the compact there again you get two chest seals here pull the red tab and there's the size of a chest seal so we would still put our bullet hole, the entry or the exit wound here, and it's still able to vent. So that's still a good size chest seal, even though it's compact. Survival blanket, once you've got the patient treated, obviously they are, they probably will be in shock. So we can put a mylar blanket over top of them to, to conserve body heat. A pair of gloves, MPA to protect their airway. And then the really cool feature I like about this kit is this Benchmade hook. You know, we put scissors in our other trauma kits and we just want to do something different. So this is the Benchmade 7 hook. This is going to be used to expose your patient because as you're doing all these trauma fixes, you've got to be able to find it or you can't fix it. So to be able to expose the patient is super important. It's small, compact. You could put this on the outside of your pouch. You could put this on your belt. Multiple ways of carrying this one. And it works really well. I've used it on blue jeans to cut up and it worked just fine. The only issue I've had is the fact that it wouldn't cut through zippers. And this does come with a Benchmade lifetime warranty. So if you break it, you can send it back to them and they'll take care of you. And Benchmade makes great quality stuff anyway. I mean, it's premium. So this is the complete kit for the essentials kit. You could put it back into the plastic bag like it came in, or you could put this in your own pouch, however you want to carry this kit. So prices on the two kits, what have we got? So the Skinny Medic Pocket Kit is $49.99. That includes free shipping. And the Skinny Medic Essentials Kit is $99.99 with free shipping. So you can find these kits and other kits at shop.skinnymedic.com. So guys, there's no excuse for not having the essentials. You know, it may not just be you. It may be a family member. It may be a friend. And being able to have the tools you need to stop bleeding, especially in a crisis situation, is priceless. Go to shop.skinnymedic.com. And you can use a suits discount code. I'm sure you'll put it up at the screen somewhere. 10% uh, off for your subscribers. Good, good. Thanks a million. Because, I, I, you know, you guys, I, I know so many of you now, and I'm, I'm meeting you in all these different places, and uh, it's really important to be prepared. Skinny Medic Pocket Kit, Skinny Medic Essentials Kit. Have to give it a big thumbs way up. So you never know when you'll be the first responder, maybe the right gear and the right training. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You knew I was going to do that anyway. Better than that. <laughs> cool. And then, do you have something like a trauma kit for smokers? <laughs> of course, I don't smoke. I just chew this. Just piece chew of on it a little bit. Oh, yeah. You might carry a man purse. I carry a satchel. <laughs> I don't know. Mrs. Skinny Medic gives me a hard time saying I've got too many backpacks, so. 
So you're gonna carry a man purse? Yeah, okay. I'll carry a man purse. Just blah, 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 blah. I get tired of hearing myself talk, man. Mr. Skinny Medic gets wet. <laughs> Never live that bad. No, I won't. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. For all major trauma, you can. I don't want to. Like head severed and stuff like that? Yeah, we can fix that. 